Thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Bell, and this is To The Point. We start with the migrant situation that is unfolding around the country. Venezuelan migrants flown to Martha's Vineyard last week are now suing Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. The class action lawsuit alleges the Republican governor and his transportation secretary of engaging in a fraudulent and discriminatory scheme to relocate them. So Southern Republic governors are saying it's their way of bringing immigration issues to light. The executive director of Lawyers for Civil Rights said no human being should be used as a political pawn. While DeSantis's press secretary shot back in a statement saying, quote, it is opportunistic that activists would use illegal immigrants for political theater, escalating tactics by Republican governors to draw attention to what they consider to be the Biden administration's failed border policies are prompting Democratic officials, including California Governor Gavin Newsom, to call for federal probes. Now, we bring this up because a small group of Venezuelan migrants were also flown to Sacramento just last week. But how they ended up here is still a mystery. Mm -hmm. So Van, too, has been following this story for us. And Van, what do we know so far? Well, Alex, Governor DeSantis and Texas Governor Greg Abbott have been, have claimed responsibility for uh, flying or busing a migrants to other democratic states but when it comes to a group of men who say they landed here in sacramento no one has claimed responsibility have said that they are behind it now we did speak to one of the migrants who showed abc 10 scars that he sustained while trekking through mexico to get to the texas border he told abc 10 that he was given department of homeland security paperwork in san antonio that allowed him to board a flight and he thought he was headed to another city we reached out to the migrant resource center in San Antonio, which said it was not aware or involved in this reported flight, and they have reported the allegations to federal authorities. In the meantime, staff at their office are now advising migrants not to accept rides or any other assistance from strangers outside of their faci facilities. Now, we also reached out to the Department of Homeland Security to see if they are opening up their investigation of their own. Uh, was this an error or was it an unauthorized act? So that question is still outstanding, Alex. And where are the two men that you spoke to? Where are they at now? Well, there are eight men, and we spoke to one of them on behalf of the entire group. And the activist group NorCal Resist has been uh, taking care of them through volunteers and resources. They have been able to find those men uh, motel rooms to stay in and also connect them with attorneys as they navigate what their legal options are. All right, Van, thank you. Even though it started out as a very cruel and ugly thing to do to people, I think maybe in the end it's they're going to be lucky to be here in Sacramento. They're already saying they want to stay here because everyone's been so welcoming and kind to them. So that was Autumn from NorCal Resist, and she's really taking this point that, you know, this started out really cruel, but so many people have been reaching out to help them, uh, the migrants. Um, so they feel supported. They do. So now they want to stay in Sacramento, and they have been helping the advocacy group, too, with volunteer efforts, too. So the group said that they even helped uh, move furniture for a Syrian refugee family here in Sacramento. Oh, wow. All right, Van, thanks for the update. We appreciate it. Of course, we will continue to follow this.